All right, in this video we want to use the half-life formula. And here's the half-life formula. A equals C, and then the half-life, we put the half right there, and over X, or X over K. And let's just go through what these things mean. So A is the amount, and that's the amount normally after some time. So amount after time. C is going to be our starting amount. And half, well, that's just part of the formula. And x, and sometimes we call that t, and that's time. Usually in years, but not always. And k, that's the half-life constant. And that varies from one element to another element. So let's work this example. So here we have strontium-90. Strontium is a very interesting element. Um, on the handout you have, you can read a little bit about it. And um, I might mention something in class about how dangerous it is. Um, it has a half-life of 28 years. We want to know what percentage is left after 50 years. So we're trying to calculate A. And C is our starting amount. Um, so you can either, let's change to a different color here, you can either start, you can think of it like 100%, and then you can change this to be a decimal, 1.00, um, and I like that, um, depending on the, actually depending on the problem, I like 100%, or depending on the problem, I like to use 1, it doesn't really matter. Um, and in this problem, we know that time is going to be 50 years. So x is going to be 50, and that's years. And the half-life constant, well, in this case, strontium-90 has a half-life of 28 years. So let's put these into our formula. So I'm going to use 1 in this case, over 1 half. And that's 50 divided by 28. And again, we make, sh make sure and do your your uh, exponent before you um, before you take one half to that. Make sure you do that division up there. So when you run this through your calculator, I'll let you do that uh, to check this. You get 0.29 multiplied by 100 to change it to percentages, and you get 29%. So 29% of it is left uh, 50 years after you used it. And that's the end of this example.